John here guys and today we are talking about drama and FPV race day quads and campfire quads frames are squaring off in a very interesting announcement that was made today by Chris who is the um, owner of Campfire Quads, and he made a statement saying, Hi everyone, I have some important and unfortunate news to share with everyone. As of now, Race Day Quads will no longer be carrying Campfire products. I imagine the remainder of their stock will go on sale soon until it is gone. I want to start off by saying that my philosophy with Campfire Quads has been and always will be to provide pilots of this hobby with an amazing product and support its fan base with the lowest prices possible in order to keep them in the air not to make a bunch of money we sell our frames at a price point that just allows us to continue to run the business and test future projects while we sell spare parts at the cost we pay to have them made when we sell to retailers we make even less but it's given us the chance to get our product into the hands of more people through the exposure. Unfortunately, once Tyler realized that our products were also available through Pyroflip, they decided that their business quarrels were more important than healthy vendor relationships and attempted to force us into either raising our prices, which would negatively affect our customers, or cease sales through Pyroflip, effectively limiting our exposure in order to further their own goals. I refuse to let other another business dictate and how and to who I may offer products. And as a result, Tyler made the choice to drop the entire lineup. It was understood between both parties prior to starting the sale of our products that we could not offer better pricing on spare parts, but Race Day Quad was free to upcharge in order to make a few bucks off their sales. They made the decision to continue sales at the cost for spare parts but make money from the frames. Tyler also believes that the success of our product is thanks to them. However, he could not be more wrong. Our products are popular thanks to all of you, our fans and supporters. All the pilots who fly our frames and spread the word, the loss of a retailer is a sad position to be in, but we will move forward and continue to strive to provide the best to all of you. I've spoken with Sergio at length about how I'll continue to run my business and to make up for the lack of ability elsewhere. Pyro will be doubling up on their stock and offering some sweet deals soon, so keep an eye out. And as always, thank you to everyone who loves and supports Camp Fire Quads. So, what does that mean, guys? That means once again in FPV, we have companies trying to bully other companies. And this is a unique example indeed, because I have seen their popularity explode. And so I've done reviews, a lot of the reviews of other products such as motors and the LEDs and whatnot, um, all have campfire quads in them. And uh, it was very exciting when Race Day Quads decided to pick up the Campfire Quad line. I believe that was their first big store that picked up the frame. And uh, more and more we got, we started to see um, this, these frames being flown in other cities, which is awesome. Um, and then I believe it was picked up at FPV Flight Club next, and then Pyroflip after that. So the frame has actually gained some nationwide popularity and been sold by three of the larger retailers. Now Chris's vision, which is one of the reasons why I switched to this frame, was to keep the parts cost low. Um, the floss um, double arms, the, the C-Train arms were starting to get a little expensive for me and I wanted to try something with a little bit better camera protection. And so this was ended up being the frame that I chose. And the arm costs are so low that you can just keep a plethora of spares. And I really don't break too many arms. Um, as it is anyway um, but that's uh, an important thing to me and now you know that aside the reason why this is such a great deal and why i recommend it so highly is because you can stay in the air at a very low cost it's funny that he mentions that in his statement because i feel like that's one of the most attractive pieces of flying this frame 
And he's absolutely right. I mean, from somebody that's an outside party to this situation, um, that's one of the main attractions to this frame. And so by race day quads, um, saying they don't like the fact that they're selling those parts at cost. Now, I at this point, I can't fault them 100% for that. So if they don't want to sell parts um, and ship them around and make no money on it, okay, okay. I can understand that at that point. And as Chris said, he mentioned to them that they could offer their own markup. Um, but here's where it goes sideways. They then told Chris uh, over at Campfire that we are not going to carry your frame unless you jack up the price or unless you drop pyroflip from the suppliers that you're supplying frames to now that is just shocking that's basically bullying i mean how can okay you know advisements or recommendations on pricing levels to meet their needs that's one thing but by saying okay we'll still do business of you with you without that pricing update if you cut pyroflip out of the loop dude what is going on here now we've been hearing lots of rumors over the last several months and years that there's backstabbing going on between some of the big companies um but wow to really see this playing out in front of us um it's it's kind of disappointing and i can tell you that giving ultimatums to other companies doesn't work we saw that when trappy tried to come and you know bully other companies into not selling fr skies r9 modules um so it just doesn't work it's not a good strategy and if anything it's just going to leave a bad taste in people's mouths about race day quads now am i saying don't shop there anymore no of course not you know I ordered five different orders over Black Friday. I ordered an order from Raceway Quads and from Pyroflip and from GetFPV and from Heli Nation and for some from Surveil Zone and from OAS. Okay, so I guess that's six orders, all right? You know, so, you know, you're gonna shop at whoever has the best deals, but it's just not cool to do. And props to Surge from Pyroflip for stepping in, understanding. And, uh, you know, I don't know the you know what's behind this kind of seemingly backstabbing practices going on here but i'll say this i remember when akk first hit the scenes with their vtx's and there was one in the lineup that was very similar to the race day quads mach one or mach two whatever generation they were at the time and they tried to bully surge into dropping all of akk's products because they said it was a knockoff whether it was a knockoff or not i don't know but uh as you know to be polite surge pulled all their products from power flips lineup and for them to now come behind his back and try to cut him out of the campfire quads market just seems really shady i mean why when he's bent over backwards to make them happy would they go and try to stab him in the back behind closed doors very interesting guys lots of backstabbiness going on but kudos to chris for standing his ground and keeping his vision for what this frame should be alive you know he started this like you said not to make money but to give racers an affordable option to keep racing and we know um, when you're racing you're going to be crashing things you're going to be breaking things and having an option um, to buy low-cost arms is just really unique and special i think it's one of the biggest market differentiators of campfire quads from all the other manufacturers so them sticking with that with who they are is really a huge thing and it says a lot about their integrity because i can't imagine being in that situation and being faced with the option to just take away one of the biggest presences in fpv from carrying their frames and being threatened with that but he stuck you know to his guns and so i definitely applaud him and the campfire folks for that and it's really nice to see Surge stepping in, willing to support him in this time and, and carrying an additional inventory so that all of the campfire lovers out there can keep getting these frames, getting these arms in your hands. So what do you guys think in the comments? Um, tell me what you think about what this means, about how these businesses are conducting themselves and uh, about what you think now that, you know, some of the information that goes along goes on in around closed doors is coming to light does that make you feel any differently about any of these companies thanks guys